So, I've been reading a lot about Web5 and it's exciting to say the least. But before you roll in with the jokes and the memes, it's not called Web4 simply because it's a synchronization between the web as we know it today, Web2, and the blockchain and decentralized nature of Web3. So Web2, Web3, Web5. So what exactly is Web5? Web5 is a decentralized platform that allows users own their own data and identity and be able to reuse any of this information across multiple platforms in the way that they choose. So Web5 is built on three pillars. A unique identifier called DIDs, that's decentralized identifier. Um, this is what's going to be stored on the blockchain and also points to like the document or anything that is holding you know, your very unique data or identity. And the second one is verifiable, set, set, verifiable credentials, my bad. Uh, verifiable credentials, which allows you to you know, verify, as the name implies, some of the information that is shared. So for example, I'm Nigerian and if I have to like verify my, you know, my certificate, like my education certificate, I go through a body like Wes and they are able to you know, stamp with that digital identity that uh, yes, this, is, this information is valid. I think this comes into play when you're working with you know, very important organizations in Web5 space. So there are verifiable credentials that can you know, just work around to, to ensure or provide that extra stamp that this information that is being shared is, is legit. And the third one are decentralized web nodes, uh, which are basically your, your own like, kind of individual server or multiple servers as the case may be, where you can host your DIDs, your documents, your information, as the case may, or whatever, to share with people and other websites. So these three pillars, decentralized identifier, verifiable credentials, and a decentralized web nodes. They work together to ensure that the protocol, the Web5 protocol, is being you know, utilized to its maximum and also protects you and gives you the control over your data and identity. So why exactly should you be excited about Web5? I think the biggest thing for me would be the fact that my data and identity is totally decoupled from any application that I choose to use. So my information, my personal information and any other you know, unique data can easily be reused and reshared across multiple platforms without having to perhaps fill a form or go through any onboarding process because that information is already there and accessible through the Web5 protocol. Of course, this requires that these applications also support Web5 because that means we need to build decentralized web applications uh, before we can be able to you know, take advantage of this protocol and so right. A very interesting use case is the fact that I can have a playlist run on multiple services without having to you know, manually have to compile them simply because I have like a, a playlist entry on one of my data, on one of my decentralized web nodes um, accessible through my identifier, right? So from, being, from Spotify being able to create and update this information with um, Apple Music, for example, being able to access it and of course show this information for me, I can basically move around like a human API going to any website, any application with my own data, with my own information, without having to go through the hassle of setting up and all of those things. So I think that's a plus. This also applies to multiple other scenarios and the fact that Web5 in its own right is still under development, is still being improved. There are a few concerns here and there, like what can this platform do with the information that you've shared with them? Um, are there going to be like laws like GDPR and likes, you know, very, very much in control of you know enforcing this this terms of service or whatever um so there are still like great areas that need to be fleshed out there are still things conversations that need to be had but if you want to get an update on what exactly is going on right now with web5 there's a website called are we web5 yet uh, and it basically covers some of the pillars of web5 and how, how much progress has been made in you know figuring stuff out and also building up the entire infrastructure um it's a work in progress. I'm excited. I've, I've joined the, the community. I've been reading up in a bunch of stuff, especially use cases uh, and also some of the thoughts around the decisions that are being made uh, to, you know, around in this new face of the web. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Cheers.